Touch Tracks in TV. Right now. Mi hormona al ultimo commentario uno. Keep watching Transit TV and stay more for premium content. So, Otra vez, adiós. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Was it Ateta or was it the player? Seems to be blamed today. Or do you just give credit to Beaumont? Beaumont was just on point today. They played good, kept the ball, moved the ball around, did not pack the boss, came at Arsenal even at 11. Transit TV back again, it's yes again, eventually 2024, Arsenal loses a game away from home in the Premier League. Since January 1st up until today, Ateta has not gone back to the Emirates uh, with a loss coming from away from home on the, in the EPL. So that, that happened today and it happened against the team that nobody ever, in fact, a lot of people would have pencil this one as three points. But if you know the recent history between Beaumont and Arsenal, you wouldn't take this one as a three points before the game started. And uh, obviously there's going to be some very serious talking points in this one but before we go ahead with that don't forget to subscribe please subscribe share this video and as well you know give us give me the like as the fans out there please 50 likes on this one 50 likes will be very nice very very good for the channel on this one as we continue to push to grow this community please i need you all out there i'm begging i'm on my knees begging you to please subscribe and share our content yes michaela teta Today, if you ask me, got it completely wrong. And there are going to be so many reasons to this one. And uh, I'll start with the way Arsenal approached this the lineup. If you trusted Eta Wanere to come in at the time your, your back was firmly on the wall, why would you start a midfield of party, Declan Rice and Mikel Merono? Where is the creativity? where is the creativity and this is the reason why Beaumont looked at the prime Man City today Arsenal surrendered possession there was no creativity Arsenal before a lot of people are going to blame the, the red card I don't I don't think that the red card was the reason why Arsenal didn't win today the, the least probably they would have gotten from this result would have probably been a draw because there was no initiative Arsenal Beaumont was all over Arsenal up until the penalty, and which is one of the reasons why the penalty came in. Yes, of course, Arsenal is always going to keep their high line, which is understandable. But they were exposed. They were at play. They were smart, as smart as today. Arsenal had never had control of this game, and and once the penalty came, in, and this takes me to the second second uh, talking point, which is the fact that Mikateta has a a default mode that his team. This Arsenal team goes into one that have a red card. I mean, this is Beaumont. A Middle City will not play defensive against Beaumont. You call a red card against Beaumont and you reset. Immediately taking out uh, uh, Raheem Stalin. Then there was no outlet. You had all around nine, ten defenders on the pitch. To do what? And Beaumont, as far as I know them, are a team that can play football. So if you give them the, the time and space on the board, they're going to use it. And they pressed and pressed and pressed and got their goal. So Nkela Teta today got it wrong. And this idea of once there is a red card, you reset to defensive mode. I don't think is appropriate. And Teta needs to rethink this one and stop relying on just a, a, a set plays to come back into games against Beaumont. No, come on now. I thought that today you were at coach, you were at smarted. The team didn't just have any initiative. And that is the reason why Arsenal lost today. But don't take that too strong. Last season, Arsenal pushed it to the to to the wires, the last of the season. And this is also how they started. You know, it was just a rocky start of the season for Arsenal. They drew some games, won some games. They were not very pretty in the eye to watch until December and they keep clicked. So I don't know if that's what we're going to see again with Arsenal today, this season I mean, but from what I saw today, this was not impressive in any way at all. Ateta needs to rethink this team. In Itamaneri, as well as I'm concerned for what I saw with for him today, has shown that he, he should have been playing for Odegaard since he's been injured. I don't I expect to see that young man start the next game regardless of maybe that the 
in Liverpool at Anfield. Yeah, next weekend, Saliba is not going to be there. That defense, this is now when we're going to know if Arsenal is a one-man team. People are talking about Roger and Man City. So this is Arsenal and Luta Saliba in an, to start an EPL game in almost two years now. So let's see how this team is going to react with Arsenal Saliba. And this is at Anfield. It cannot get any better. I know that this Arsenal team, sometimes when you can them, that's when they come bounce back. But today, they were poor. They were poor. They were poor. And they were really, really, really poor. And from what I saw from Raheem Stalin, I know that uh, this Arsenal team is well drilled. It's difficult to come in and settle in immediately. It takes time to come. But even people like Jesus, who have been in the team and got injured, are struggling to come back. But uh, Raheem Sterling still has a lot to prove. He has a lot to do to, to get Arsenal fans behind him. Today, I didn't see enough from Stalin. I don't know if I'm going to call that transfer a good one or a bad one yet because I've not really seen much from Raheem Sterling to say that that, that uh, transfer was good. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Was it Ateta or was it the player? Seems to be blamed today. Or do you just give credit to Beaumont? Beaumont was just on point today. They played good, kept the ball, moved the ball around, did not park the boss, came at Arsenal. Even at 11 v 11, Beaumont never played defensive. Yes, yeah, sometimes they were caged in their own half, but their intention was not to pack the bus. They came out today to play football, and they did, and got their result. This is a high point of Miola's uh, career in, in EPL. If not, if not as a coach, you know, beating Arsenal today is a huge, huge, huge one. It's a huge one, and this is a big twist into the uh, uh, EPL title challenge. Of course, there are some big games coming up tomorrow. Uh, Liverpool is going to play Chelsea. That's a huge one. We don't know how that one is going to go. But Chelsea has a game tomorrow as well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But let me know what you think. Are you going to, do you blame Ateta today or do you blame the players? Or will Lanceliba, would he have done something different going to this game today? Let me know what in the comment section and uh, we'll go again next week. As now, fans, don't forget, please, I need your opinion. Should Ateta have done this thing differently? Do you think that Asna should have gone into a defensive mode after the record against Beaumont? Or did they show Beaumont too much respect in this one? Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.